Hey, Jeff Lobb, Real Estate Technology and Tools. What would Jeff do? Today I'm going to talk to you about, uh, they can call this a coaching tip, whatever you want to call it, but this is not about technology today. This is about getting your head straight. So many people over, there, over the past you know, six months, a year, have had a little bit of a challenging year. Some have had their best year ever in real estate. But you got to get your head straight. I mean, people talk about, uh, you know, oh, my significant other says I should go get a real job or I should, I should go, you know, go work at a different type of business or go get a steady paycheck. You know what? Let me help you with this. I've been in real estate for a long time. Real estate's the real job. Where else do you have the most flexibility that we have, which we have phenomenal amounts of flexibility. We, we kind of create our own day. We create our own destiny and we get to sell one of the largest assets to most people in the entire country. So it's a very important part of the process. We got to just get up and go to work. When I say go to work, I mean, if you showed up at a real job, theoretically, and you show up at nine o'clock, you're working from nine to five or nine to six or whatever, they're making you work nine to seven now. You got supervisors all over you and you're doing work. Well, let me ask you this. As a real estate professional, from nine o'clock to five o'clock on a regular day, are you doing work? I mean, productive work, let's define that. Work like, am I prospecting and finding new business? Did I talk to five new people a day? Because that's the important part. You could be in the business and work yourself around the business and spend time on home inspections and all the important stuff and getting mortgages. And, but how much new business are you finding? That's the important part. Can you talk to and find three to five new people a day? That's what I want you to do. Find three to five new people that you've never spoken to and ask them if they're looking to buy or sell real estate and connect with them. Connect with them. Find out who they are, where they are, and how to stay in touch with them because that's your future funnel. Many of us show up at work and do work, but not productive work. And we can kill six hours a day browsing the web, we're on Facebook, we're searching the MLS, we're doing stuff in real estate and around real estate, but are we really doing the business of? Generating new business. That's where I think we suffer. That should be one of your goals this year. Every day, ask yourself, did I talk to three to five new people today? And if you haven't, go find them. You can find them everywhere. Go to your coffee shop. You can get on Facebook and LinkedIn and connect with new people. Not saying that social media is the place to connect with them, but you're connecting usually only with people that you know. Go find some new ones. Go to your local restaurant, your pizzeria. Volunteer for some stuff. Find new people to talk to and ask them if they're doing business because technology is wonderful and we're connecting with people in many different ways. But we got to stick to real estate and how do we get new business? We can have it come to us and do some really good advertising, good, good blogging, good lead generation, but you still need to find three to five new people a day. There's your goal. Go get it. There's your tip of the day, and uh, it'll change your world. Absolutely. All right? Bye.